Oh, the lean back. What a defensive move that is. This is one of the best defensive moves in all of boxing because let's just see if you are leaning back and that punch is landing. It's taking the sting out of the punch. So you should be definitely be working on the lean back. And on this video, we're gonna go all into it, deep into it. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a great offensive move where if your opponent is leaning back all the time, how you can land punches. Cancel out his lean back so you can have success. So make sure you hang around till the end to watch that. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, and on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing, helping you get better at boxing. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this. Okay, let's get straight into it. <sighs> So there's a few ways of leaning back and one way that I don't like and I don't recommend is let's just see if James has thrown the jab is this because right here I'm square on. I kind of hurts me back as well in this position but you know Muhammad Ali did it and you see on this picture here Muhammad Ali leaning back with his hands down. I would never tell Muhammad Ali mate don't lean back like that because he had success with it but I wouldn't recommend you trying it. When you're in the ring and you are and you're, and you're, and you're fighting you know do what you need to do to get out of the way of the punch. That's, that's first and foremost that the punch doesn't hit you. When you are practicing it you want to be practicing it this way so he throws it and if you're seeing the difference there compared to there is when I'm here, I'm not really in a position, if you see me square on like this, to kind of come, come back. But if I'm here, like this, there, I'm in the position of boom, blasting them counter punches. And the difference is putting my weight to the back foot rather than putting the stress on my back like this, which again, Muhammad Ali does it, so it obviously works, but putting my weight to the back like this because right here, I can fire back with a big solid punch of my own. I'm putting that weight there to blast it back in. So let's just see if I throw a jab and, and James throws a jab back, which you know, the most common punch in boxing is the jab. And that's the one that you're probably going to be defending. So if I throw a jab, he counters with his jab and I bring my weight back. Right there, the weight's on the back foot so I can come blast in, boom, that right hand. Now, if I'm in with someone who is doing this, which is a common mistake with a jab, where they'll throw it and they'll bring it back down here, the lazy jab, and I've done a video talking all about the five most common mistakes about the jab. You should definitely watch that one next. But if I'm in with someone and they're doing this, oh, mate, 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 please do that when I'm in the ring with you because I'm going to blast that, that big right hand in. And it looks like this. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, making them pay for that lazy jab. And the lean back is the perfect defensive move to counter. So you don't always have to counter with the right hand. If you want to get your punch there even faster, you can come back with a fast jab of your own. And it'll look like this. So I'm going to jab, lean back, jab. And we're a bit speed on it. Oh, there it is there. And you can come back, like I said, faster. Because if you think my lead hand Boom, I've leaned back. It's closer to the target than the right hand, so it's got less distance to travel. If it's got less distance to travel, it's gonna get there faster. So here it is again. Bah, bah, Yes, and all that is because of the lean back for the defense. Now you don't have to have an experienced mitt man like James Doyle in there with you to practice this. You can do this on the heavy bag, working, throwing them two punches and coming back. And a great tip and drill to do this is if you've got a line in between your feet here, like this one on the floor, and that's on line with my head, I'll throw one, two, I want to bring my head back away from that line and then come back with my counter puncher. So one, two, lean back, two, or a jab, lean back, jab. That's a little drill that you can do to practice the lean back on your own without the experienced coach with you. Now, one last thing I want to talk about before I show you the offensive move when you're doing this against someone who's leaning back is your hands. Where's your hands? Because often we'll see hands come down like Muhammad Ali right here, or you'll see people pushing their hands forward uh, when they are leaning back. Keep your hands up by your face because what if James is throwing a one, two, one and he's stepping in with that and I'm leaning back and I've got my hands down. So if I throw the one, two, boom, boom, and I lean back with my hands down, boom, and he's throwing that one, two, one, it's good night. So make sure you keep your hands up. Now, if he does throw that one, two, one, boom, boom, 
Now I can block them, so keep your hands up. I've stopped the video. I'm going to take all my clothes off and go into my ice bath right now and tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Oh, it's so cold. And guys, you don't have to get into a 37 degree ice bath to recover. You can go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off their entire website. They've got so many different great supplements that will help you recover. They'll help you perform better. They'll help you for your post-workouts, pre-workouts. And this company is legit. There's so much BS out there when it comes to supplements. I would never recommend any BS. I love on it. It's recommended by the likes of Joe Rogan, Brendan Shab, Cowboy Cerrone, so many other great people love a great company like on it, like I do. Go to onnit.com forward slash forward slash box and I can't speak because I'm so cold and get 10% off their entire website. You will absolutely love it. I guarantee you that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the best offensive move to do against someone. If he's leaning back from me, this is how I land punches on him. But first, I want to show you a magic trick to get James's gloves on. Watch this. And that's it. Yeah, see that? And I'm going to show you a video showing you how to get your gloves on as fast as James Doyle soon. So make sure you subscribe for that video. Okay. So let's just see it. Every time I throw a jab at James, he leans back. He throws a jab at me. Boom, boom. And he leans back. How can I hit him? He's got his hands up. Do it again. Boom, boom. How can I land them punches? Well, the key thing is here. Feet. Yes, feet. Now, I'm not going to kick him, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my feet in closer to him. So I know, because he's been doing it all the fight of the sport, that, you know, every time uh, he jabs and I counter, he gets out of the way of it. So I know he's going to do that. So when I get my feet in close, he's going to be stuck. Because through the jab, boom, lean back, boom, boom. Now my feet's in. Look, he's come off balance. His feet stuck to the ground. But what I want to do, because he's got his hands up, is work the body as well. So again, I'm here, he's through the jab, boom, 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 boom. Yes, and his hands went back down there again. Get your feet in if you're doing this with someone. Get your feet in and hit them to the body. That's what will give you success. Click here and watch this video next where I show you the best defense in boxing. Better than the lean back, the best defense. Click here and watch this next.